Hi guys, so today we're going to do a quick review of a cheap action camera I picked up. I was doing some shopping the other day in Lidl and they had these on offer. So given that we're still currently under lockdown, I thought it could be something fun to play with, a new toy. Um, always wanted to do some action shots of, you know, action on riding the bike, the action shots of cars on the move and things, but I, I just don't have the money to invest three, four, five hundred euros into GoPros and the equipment. So this came up for 40 quid with all the bits you see here on the table. Um, I'll give you a quick run through them, but this isn't going to be a, like a detailed review of the camera. I'm not a tech guy. I'm a car enthusiast. I'm a bike enthusiast who wants to film his adventures, record memories of his projects, so forth. So let's see how we get on. And um, yeah, we will do a quick review of what's on the table here. I'm going to mount the bike, the, the camera on the bike in a few different positions, take some action shots, show you what the quality of them are like, and at the end we'll give you our, our thoughts and see whether it was a worthwhile investment or whether we'd recommend it for others. So in the box, as you can see, this is an iTech 4K action camera. Uh, I've linked uh, an almost identical one in the description below, and anything else you see in the video today or suggestions, You'll find links in the description below of where you can order these from. Uh, in the box, we got obviously the little action camera. It's nice and compact. It does have slot here on the side where you need to insert a memory card. And you have the charging port, which is the same as your Android phone or most of the Android phones. And there's a mini HDMI out as well. Uh, also in the box, we got the charging cable straightforward enough we got the waterproof case to put the camera into there's a couple of little different types of velcro straps and adjustable straps uh, these seem to be from what I can see more if you want to uh, mount the camera on top of a, a bicycle helmet where you have the air vents and you can loop them through the ones I see us using more are the handlebar mount uh, this is, I think, more designed for a bicycle than a motorbike. It's not going to put the camera up high enough on the, the motorbike to be able to see over the bars or over the dash. Uh, the other things we have here is there's a couple of different brackets that you can connect to these cases just to give you some different angles. Uh, there's also this little attachment which would screw onto your standard tripod mount and allow you to, to mount your, your little action camera on a tripod. Uh, you have this case here, which again will attach to a tripod and anything with a similar connection to that. It also attaches onto the little belt clip uh, and that allows you just to clip it onto your clothes, onto your hat, onto your lapel, anything like that. So we'll try this. Uh, gonna put on a backpack and mount this on the, the cross uh, brace that goes across here in the backpack and see can we get some nice action shots similar to what you get to the chest mount. Um, I'll insert a, a clip here of the chest mount, which is an accessory I definitely want to get. It comes as part of a kit that I've seen on Amazon. It was like 20 euros. It had 48 or 50 different pieces in it. Uh, all different kinds of mounts and attachments, chest mounts, head mounts, uh, all the different kind of attachments, some 3M sticky pads and things like that. Probably, I'd say, would use half of them for my application. Some people may use more. Um, I'll stick up a little shot of it here now in a second. And yeah, I think we'll be ordering that. The other thing I'd like to get is uh, a chin mount for my helmet. So it does have this kit and the other kit do come with some clips that you can stick onto things. One, I don't really like sticking things onto my helmet. My helmet should just stay as it is. I don't want to damage it. I don't want sticky pads peeling off the finish or the paint. And the other, and most importantly, and I only found out this from a friend today, apparently mounting anything on your helmet is illegal in Ireland. So the chin mount is an adjustable strap which sits here. Uh, it goes in behind your visor 
and it mounts the camera up here. It gives some very nice forward facing shots that obviously as you turn your head to look at the sights and the view, it's going to follow and you're going to capture all that on video. Um, so we'll order one of them. That'll be in the description as well. Um, what else have we got? Yeah, I um, think that about covers it. So I'm going to go and see where we can mount this on my V-Strom. And we'll try and go for a ride then. We'll record the footage, show you what the footage looks like. See what the, the microphone picks up. Is there much distortion, wind noise, things like that. And yeah, at the end, I'll give you my thoughts. See as if a beginner vlogger, I would recommend it or whether you should really save up and get the, the real genuine GoPro. Okay guys, we'll, um, let's go to the bike and see what we can do. So guys, if you haven't seen it in some of my other videos, this is my bike. It's a 2007 V-Strom 650. And this is what I'm gonna try and put the action camera on today and see how it goes. Please ignore the dust on the bike. It's been in the shed for way too long due to the lockdown. Um, she's feeling a little sorry for herself, so she might get a clean later on as well. The kit did come with a handlebar mount, but it seems to be more for uh, mountain bikes than motorbikes. It's not going to allow the camera to actually see over the dash on this bike anyway. Um, so that's probably a no go for this one. I do have uh, a bracket coming for the bike. I'll insert a clip here. It's designed for GPSs or phones. It sits just up here and gives you a bar to mount things to. So when that arrives, we'll be fitting that and we'll be mounting our phone on it. And we'll also try mounting the camera on there as well. Not sure how the footage will come through when you're filming through the the perspex screen which isn't in the best condition and might need to be replaced later on but some of the other ideas i had were maybe mounting to the crash bars here low down could give some interesting footage if the camera's sticking out from there as we're banking into corners and things uh another thing i was thinking is get some rear wood footage by mounting it on the the back luggage case or the back crash bars be able to film mates coming behind and so forth see how that goes i'm not particularly keen on sticking mounts onto the bodywork of my bike and i never have much faith in how them things actually stick don't want the camera to come flying off down the road so let's try a couple of different things see how we go but yeah have a feeling to to really make the most of this, we're probably going to need in, to invest in some of them accessories that I mentioned earlier on. Well, we don't really have anything to be able to mount it up high at the moment, and it's one of the few places I could find. The crash bars, it seems to be able to secure it on pretty well there. Let's see, might give some interesting footage, might be a complete waste of time, but it's one location we can give a go. Um, and see how it... I was getting a lot of distortion noise here from the engine because of where the camera was mounted. A lot of wind noise as well. Now, that's mainly my fault. I didn't know how to set up the camera properly and I'm only learning how to edit audio. So for now, I've turned down the volume just so it doesn't wreck your heads all.
action camera. In all, I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, for the price, it, it's good. It, it's really good. Um, the video quality is pretty good. Uh, I haven't adjusted or played with any of the settings. I will need to have a look at that. Um, some glare in places. The microphone quality isn't great. You can see when it was mounted on the front of the bike near the engine, you're obviously getting a lot of distortion noise from the engine. Uh, there's a lot of wind noise passing over it. So we'll have to have a bit of research, have a look at a few options of how we get around that. Um, there's, there's bound to be ways, there always is. Just have to try and figure it out. Uh, the only thing I was disappointed with was the battery life. It didn't really last that long. Now, I did play with it a bit this morning when I was trying to get it set up and figure it out. A uh, couple of spins using the, the different mount ways of mounting it. And the fact that I was filming in 1080p uh, is probably what was causing the battery to, to drain a lot quicker. So over the next couple of days, we'll play with the settings. We'll try and learn a bit more about it. And we'll try shooting some footage in lower quality and see what that does for it. Um, so far, I think I'll definitely go ahead and get some of the extra mounts and different options for it. I'd like to have a bit more flexibility in how I use it on the bike, how I'd use it on my person. Um, and it would be nice to leave the mounts on different locations on the bike. So while we have one camera, we only have to move the camera instead of moving the mount each time. Um, ideally, I'd love to be able to set it up in a way in the future so I have multiple cameras on the bike filming at the same time and can switch between views and edit a bit that way and, and play with the footage. But it's all ahead of us. So far, I'm happy with it. For €40, Euros, it was definitely worth it. Uh, I think the extra spend on the few extra accessories and things would be a a good move so we'll probably go ahead with that over the next couple of days um a friend is going to lend me some of his so i can try him out and see what i like and what i don't like as well um and we'll we'll go from there but i will update you again i'll let you know how you get on and hopefully in future videos you'll be seeing a lot more action shots as we we progress and when the the roads and the lockdown does eventually kind of disperse a bit and we're allowed to travel and we're allowed to go out for more than just essential journeys on our bike. We we'll try and take you a tour on some of the, the nicer attractions around the area. And for international people who'd like to maybe see a bit of Ireland or considering uh, coming on a riding holiday here. We we'll try and show you some of our favourite spins and favourite places to go and the best roads. It's When you have the weather in Ireland, it really is a beautiful, beautiful country to be biking.